What's up, what's up, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on my channel. My name is Plan Powers, and today we're going to be playing Chuk and Sosig Walk the Plank. So this is a charming little uh, point-and-click in the adventure game uh, where a bunch of friends get together and they play a tabletop game. I mean, <laughs> what could be the best? I haven't played uh, a, table a tabletop game for a while with, uh, I mean, most of my friends didn't want to play tabletop games and uh, none of those uh, like Dungeon, Dra uh, Dungeon and Dragons roleplay sort of tabletop games and I've always wondered what they would uh, be like. So today we're going to be playing this instead. <laughs> Hopefully uh, we get some uh, cool interactions between the characters and uh, let's see what Chuk and Sausig are all about. Let's start a new game here. Saves automatically. Perfect. Okay, Sosig, so you dragged me out of the house for what exactly? Because you were so busy, Chuk? I might enjoy I might enjoy some time at home without you and Cow. You would get bored. You'll have a much nicer a much nicer time here. Haunting the pub with friends. Also, you even the numbers for us mortally challenged. These two are my best friends. Cook's a ghost, but it doesn't stop her from doing most things. Or sorry, not cook, chook. Uh, Cow, on the other hand, is a proud member of the Living Dead. We never did find out what happened to his body. Less maintenance this way. What is this game anyway? It's a role-playing game. We pretend to be pirates and stuff. And all the other things in between. I've been sat next to you to keep an eye on you. I thought we were friends, Min. The orange one over there is Hebel. Meow, meow. Or Hebel. I'm gonna, just gonna call her Hebel. Oh, he, he's a small whirlwind of chaotic enthusiasm. He just needs somewhere to direct all that energy currently. Are you doing a, runnery, a running commentary for any spirits out there tonight? Yeah, it seemed polite to keep them filled in. Oh, thank you. That's Min, by the way. She's head of the Psychic Association on the island. The only psychic. <laughs> this is going to run like a well-oiled machine. <laughs> if I even smell you trying to get dinosaurs involved, Evel, I will make your time a misery. <laughs> There's a pirate theme to this game, and it's going to be respected. Last but not least, in the middle, that's Exley. <laughs> Another undead. He runs the pub here, the Cheeky Unicorn. Meow, meow, meow. He keeps Hebel out of trouble, employing him behind the bar. <laughs> if I could hire anyone else, I would. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> I weather you, like a storm. <laughs> 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 Let's get started, shall we? What? I'm not even sure how to play. It's real easy. Come talk with our characters when you start. <laughs> I spent hours writing this, so it's going to be taken seriously. So yeah, we're going to be playing a like a dungeon D&D uh, &D style of role-playing games. I never played this uh, at all with any of my friends. So, but I know there's like a dungeon master who writes the story and everything else in it, and uh, we, the characters or the players, uh, go along per turn and uh, like roll dice and do actions. That's that's all I know about. D &D games. I wish I, I wish I had some friends to play this with, but hey, that's life. <laughs> All right, here we go. So the theme is pirates. Nice. Oh, this looks real nice. I could certainly get used to this. Okay. Codnapper. Okay. So we get to walk around now, or... Oh yeah, okay. Ship in a bottle. The ship in a bottle. I have no idea how they get those ships in there. Such a mystery. But with tiny tweezers. Okay, so there's Captain Min here. Let's talk to her. Hiya. Uh, what are you up to? Well, not much currently. I'm stuck here. Which means you're stuck here too, by the way. What? How come? My ship is the only way off this island currently. 
by my character's superstitious nature is getting in the way. That fountain over there, you'll notice it isn't running. There's an old wives tale that if the fountain is not running, any ship leaving port will sink. Alright, so what is your character? I'm glad you asked. I'm a mighty pirate queen. Nice. I'm rough, tough, and ever so slightly superstitious. <laughs> I've got my sights set on rumors of haunted treasure. Or trying to, to track down the sea goddess. Can I join your crew? Well, it's yes and no, really. What's, what's that mean? You can join my crew if you get the fountain going again. A ship can't set sail if the fountain is all dried up. It's just not right. Okay, so which... Oh, so I need... So I just need to get the fountain started? Easy. We can do that. <laughs> and also, I didn't say anything, but there's, there's a, a ghost chicken? <laughs> what, what the fuck? And he's my best friend? No. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, good. As uh, I really want to use my ship. You can escape with me if you help out, help my character out. <laughs> can I come too? Not a chance. Alright, uh, looks like Hebley is not invited to this little adventure. Alright, so do you know why the fountain stopped? Meow. I suspect Hebel had something to do with it. He sat, he sat right next to it. He's got an overreactive, an overactive mouth and overactive limbs. Meow. He's our little amber whirlwind. He's a gremlin, is what he is. Anything he touches breaks or caves in on itself. Uh, so she said something about sea goddess? What's that about? Oh yeah, if you discover her palace, you can get any wish granted. I have heard some have found her palace. I'm going to try and track her down. Imagine having any wish granted. I keep thinking I've decided what I'm ask I might ask for. Then boom, I think of something else. Yeah, that's pretty hard though. I, mm, let me see. All the treasure in the world. Haunted treasure? Some male has been going out with flyers for a haunted treasure attraction. I think the world haunted, the word haunted is deterring a lot of people. Ghosts don't bother me. Me either. Ghost proof, that's us. Alright, so letters. Let's uh, let me investigate the rest of this island. What's this kegs here? Rum kegs? Rum yeah. barrels. This stuff is extremely volatile. There's a cork firmly sealing it up. Can I remove the cork? What's this? Oh, my little inventory? Okay. The skull and crossbones really helps. Really helps if you're at ease with something intended for drinking. <laughs> I mean, if you drink too much of that stuff, you'll uh, become uh, the skull and bones. Alright, what's this uh, chalk picture here on the floor? Chalk drawing. Much to it? It's a shop. Okay. Let's go in. Guess one of the undead friends are is here. They're just a head with the horns or on on them like on a mount. On like a wall mount. Real weird. Yeah, let me just investigate the surroundings first. It's a pretty nice plant pot. It's got flam flamingos on it. Alright. Poster. It's a poster for something called Galaxy Princess Dolls. There's a big out of stock sticker on it. Oh. Meow meow. This is a horrible picture. I feel like it's size follow me around the room. Okay, no, they don't. Like that. It's a really happy tiger. Just looking at it makes me clean. King of the jungle. Uh, what's this? The goldfish. It washed up like that. In the bowl? Yeah. I'm trying to find it a proper tank. I heard the bowl shape's not good for them. I need to look after my little buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a bulletin board for locals to use. It looks like Hebel is hard at work hustling. Mysterious box. It's a box all covered in stars. Some junk in the bottom. Skeleton uh, poster? What's that? It says a good customer is a dead customer. Retail work is great. <laughs> Some wax candles. Big old fish, swordfish here at the back. What's this? Nematist? 
There's a book on the shelf called Dark Magic The Office. It has a picture of white poured on fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh doesn't ooh, wall torch, can we grab that? Uh these are always secret switches. Hey, don't touch that. Just one little touch won't hurt it. Oh. What did I say? I'm really sorry. Just knocked right off. It was fragile. I thought it might open a secret bookcase dungeon. First, it would have to make it would have to make a bookcase appear. You want the torch back? Nah, you keep it. Hopefully, you'll feel guilty when you look at it. Because this is how my business is doomed to fail. The customers. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's talk to the... Uh... Oh, his name is Carl. Okay. Hey, Carl. Hey, check it out. I got a shop. I'm my own boss. Nice place. Thanks. I've always wanted a shop. I can just fill it with all things I like. Disguised my hoarding as a business. <laughs> so customer service is like a secret passion of yours? Whoa. Hey now. I never said I wanted customers. I've been learning some techniques for dealing with these unfortunate consequences. My favorite phase, phrase? Sorry, that's not for sale. <laughs> Randomly bursting into tears to make people awkwardly leave. And my very favorite? We are closing in five minutes. Oh, just saying that last one gives me the chills. I love it. We are closing in five minutes. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I feel like you picked a, up a lot from Hebel. Hebel. Hebel taught me everything. Oh, sorry. Hebel taught everything I know about customer service. Really helps me connect with the character. I'm really getting into the role here. It's really convincing. I'm so proud of you right now. Alright, so uh, what have you been collecting? I'm trying to make a party favor range from bound VHS tape, using it like streamers and bunting. Uh -huh. Meow meow. Best it. Uh, so about the gal like galaxy princess dolls? Meow meow meow. Yeah. No. Don't have any in the back. And no, I don't know when I'm getting getting any more in stock. Oh wow. I'm sorry, just all I've been asked all week. Turns out these dolls are wild popular. Super rare and super collectible. And I hate them. You should probably take that poster down. But she's so cute! <laughs> so what do you sell here? Junk, mostly. This is a pirate infested area. Plenty of flotsam just bobbing about. I rehome it all. 100% profit. Well, when I want to sell anything, that is. Alright, catch you later. Later, Sausig. So he sells junk. Nice to know. Hey, at least we got a torch out of this deal. Alright, so let's look for this mysterious fountain then. Oh, here's our friend Chuck. Psst. Hey, hey Sausage, come here. Why are you whispering? Shh, not so loud. We can't let Exley hear us. Oh no, what did he do? Okay, so, might have looked at his notes. Just peek. So scandalous. So, if you want any little hints and tips, come talk to me. Also, if you need just a small amount of help, just give the spacebar a tab and I'll show you things you can interact with. Oh, uh, okay. Chuck, stop cheating. It's just so easy. I can see what Exley is writing. All the things he has planned for you. Careful, or he'll notice though. I'll be careful. I'm always careful. Alright, so we can uh, go to Chuck for some tips. That's always useful. Good to know. You can't play anything without cheating, can you? Hey, I'm just leaving the option there. It's up to you if you decide to use it or not. I didn't know you were playing too. I'm sort of playing. I'm a retired pirate. Seeing as I'm retired, I just want to sit right here, watching the world go by. 
passing judgment on everyone. You decided to play as a ghost too? I have got a very, a very limited imagination. I'd like to draw on personal experience. Fair enough. Thanks for letting me know. Shh, keep it down. Remember, come back to me for hints and hit the space bar to see in interactive interactive spots. I don't even know what a space bar is. Don't worry about it, someone might. Uh, okay, so have you got any hints? I sure do. Okay, help me get started. Currently, we are stuck on this little island. Try talking to different characters to try and find a way out of it. Min seems to be your best bet. She's got this really wonderful captain's hat. I'm a little bit envious. Alright, thank you. No worries. Come back to see me soon. Okay, so we all kind of already knew that. Uh, oh, so this is the fountain. Okay, I got it. It's the fountain. It doesn't seem to be working though. Right, okay. So here's a Hebel, fortune teller Heb Hebel's weird things. The skull with the third eye. Damn. Hebel seems to be dotting on it. Cute, isn't it? Super cute. Let's talk to Hebel. <laughs> hey, yes, I'll say. Hey, Hebel. What, what are you up to? <laughs> fortune telling. Ah, oh, nice. I'm struggling a bit though. Min makes it look so easy. It's not really something you can teach Hebel. Also, you made a character you wrote down that they can do really sick arts and crafts. <laughs> this character is an artist at heart. Just like me. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing this. Oh, so you can pick your own uh, like stats or traits? <laughs> Are you using the crystal ball? I'm not having much luck with that either. I'm trying a couple of different methods currently. Uh, is the crystal ball switch done? Yeah. <laughs> we tried the resetting it. Are you joking? Are there really switches on these things? Uh, not sure. Have we used one? <laughs> hmm. I'll keep at it. I might try dropping it from a great height. Even if it doesn't work, I'll sure <laughs> it'll sure make me feel better. I'm glad to hear you found something you enjoy. <laughs> Things impacting with concrete really does fill me with joy. Um, have you been messing up about with the fountain? Yeah, a little bit. I feel in it a little early. I felt in it a little earlier. I thought I saw some cash in there. I've never seen a fountain without cash in it. Exley has come up with the worst fictional fountain ever. But did you stop the fountain from running? Uh, no, that wasn't me. Cow did that. He came out of the shop and messed about with the panel on the sides. He seemed awfully pleased with himself. Oh, so he turned off the fountain? I know. I'm shocked too. You know what annoyed me the most? I didn't see how he got there. I always wonder how he does that. I wonder if it's one of those things which only happen when you are looking. Like you doing cleaning. Exactly like that. Uh, Alright, so about this color. Ah, yes, I'm having a go at divination through the powers of the beast. You mean you're practicing necromancy? <laughs> yup. I'm trying to listen to what he tells me. I've got high hopes for our partnership. I just needed to speak a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. Alright, see you later, Hebel. <laughs> see you around, spaghetti features. <laughs> okay. We do have some, like, spaghetti legs. Alright, so let's check out this side panel. What the heck kind of system is this? Uh, oh, we have to find the right combination? Why is this Hebel, like, carved into this? Hmm. Does he know the combination? Let me ask him. Uh, no. Okay, let's go to Kao and see... Actually, let me look at the symbols once again. So there's a knife, a skull, fish, and a dagger. Alright, skull right here. It said he has a third eye. Maybe the skull goes on the third place? Sure. Oh, I pressed the spacebar. What happened? Oh, okay. So, there's a weird little transition here. What the? Okay. Never mind. Let's go into the shop.
Uh, let me see. So there's a skull right here as well. And then there's a fish. This is this like a dagger? Or there's a fish here as well. Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> is, is the assistant manager? Okay, let me just ask him. Hey, Carol. Do you know anything about the fountain outside? Yeah, I turned it off. Why did he do that? Yeah. I'm a savvy businessman, so I say. Yeah. If folk can arrive and no one can leave, everyone has to buy from me. <laughs> he don't even like customers. And that is very true. Yeah. Although, yeah. if I'm the only shop, I could I control the whole market. I could skyrocket all my prices. Yeah. Then I only have to make one sale a month to stay afloat. <laughs> can you turn the fountain yeah. off? Uh, back on? I don't like the sound of that. Why? I would have to work. Be polite. I don't think I could handle that. I'm not sure if it's such a good idea. Why? Uh... There's a ton of kids outside. Uh... Really grubby hands. I think they've been eating. What were they eating? Uh, something really messy. Chicken wings? Oh yeah, there's just heaps of sh uh, super greasy kids outside. I heard them say they just love to handle everything. Licking fingers and just running them over product. They wouldn't do that to my product. Oh, they would and they will. Unless you give me that code. Fine, fine. I left a note under that flamingo plant. Thank you. Don't let them in. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we have the code. Hey. You aren't supposed to crumble so easily. Sausage is awfully persuasive. Look at that big daft face. <laughs> I can't say no. Aw, oh, thanks, Carol. All good, buddy. Alright, so I'm not sure where the uh, rolling of the dice is gonna come in, but uh, I guess it's not happening just yet. There's a note under the plant pot. Note to self. Okay. That's cow with the arrow towards the goldfish. Hmm. Maybe uh, the fishbowl. Oh! Okay, so now I have to go to uh, Min. And she has a note for me as well. Okay. Kind of dig the music as well. Pretty, uh, very chilled uh, beachy vibes. Oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen a note from Cow? I have, actually. He wanted me to hang onto this for him. Okay, a uh, skull with a candle. Alright. Laters. Okay, so we saw those. Uh, actually. Hey, can I take the candle? Some unlit candles. Can I take them? Some wax candles. No. So we're looking out. Um, for a skull with a candle on it. The only other skull I've seen so far is the uh, third eye skull, so I'm gonna head on towards there. Oh! Oh, hey! There's something in here. Be gentle. Alright, so here's the code. So, skull, fish, dagger, eye. Skull, fish, dagger, eye. Sweet! The fountain is back on. Nice! So, let's go back to Captain Min, tell her the fountain's on, and we can uh, depart on the ship. Hey, yeah. Fountain's fixed. Hey, nice. See, I knew you could do it. Let's get on board and get out of here. Alright, here we go. Setting sail. Wow, cool ship. Hey, thanks. Is this really the whole map, though? Men's character mishandled the map earlier. You'll have to track down the map of the wider area. Min, let me hold the map. Look how well that turned out. Pirate maps are delicate things. Pebble doesn't really do that delicate. It's those gremlin hands. <laughs> Everyone's got it in for Hebel. 
All right, so we can uh, wobble about in our ship. There's a couple of different islands here we can explore. Let me just uh, head on to this one first. Sea Shrine. Phew. Alright, what's all this? Crumbling wall. A worn out crumbling wall. The little stone dragon is still guarding it though. It's a good job with the bots left. Oh, it's doing a good job, sorry. Okay. Can't check out the dragon? Okay. The leg here. There's the head. All right. Uh, this leg seems to be a seems to be a lever, but it's stuck. There must be a way to unlock it nearby. Oh, okay. Also a leg. This leg. Okay. Same stuff. Uh, check out this big ass door. It's the large stone door. There has to be a way to open it. Uh, there's another leg. Okay. Uh, let's grab this dragon's eye. All the legs just moved. Ooh. There's a blue, like, line going through it. The legs of the statue seems seem to act like switches. With some trial and error, I should get in. Alright, so let's pull this leg. Okay. Nice, that was... <laughs> success! That was easy enough. All right. Much better. Okay, so I'm thinking this uh, game might be targeted for the kids because the puzzles so far, I mean, they're uh, quite simple. Uh, let's see, switch. Nice. So, and uh, Axley is here. Uh, there's a fire here. It's burning away nicely. The game might be for kids, but uh, I'm a kid at heart, so. And the game is quite charming, so. It's just rocks. Nothing too exciting. And I kind of like the art style as well, so. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Got the statue. Oh, here it is. We found her. That was nice. Goddess water? What's this? Bottles of goddess water. After reading over the label, I'm still not sure what it is. Apart from that's... that's its water. I think this really is just water. It claims it's the best water though. I can't argue with a printed label. Uh, more goddess water? Boxes and boxes of goddess water. It makes bold claims about health benefits. The ability to time travel being one of them. Followed by a mass of side effects in tiny text, they ran out of the room of the label for them. Uh, let's check out the goddess statue. Statue of the Sea Goddess. Or what she's supposed to look like. She's an icon. Uh, oh, Cow is here as well. Sorry, I thought that was Hexley. Hey, Cow. Hey, check it out. I joined a cult. Meow meow. Um, it's not so bad. What is the culty joint? Blessed water sails. I got a whale song CD for joining. Ah, oh, cute. I'm my own boss. I can tell holy water and work of my on my poems at the same time now. Poems are my passion. I've been told they are super cl uh, calming. Great for putting people to sleep. Uh, where's everyone else? Well, they said they were headed out to the shops. That was three weeks ago. Do you think they might have quit? I'm not sure. I read them... I read them one of my poems, and they all calmed right down. They got so much less aggressive about meeting sales targets. They... S uh, did they seem happy? They did, actually. Can I join this club? Cult? Wait, what? You want to actually sign up? Really? I mean, that's fantastic. I ran out of whale CDs, I'm afraid, but I've got this instead. A voucher for free parades. Oh, wow, thanks. You'll need to redeem it at the general store. I can't wait to teach you all the benefits of goddess, goddess water. 
Anything else you can tell me about your cult? Yeah. Goddess water. It's a lifestyle, not just a product. It's all about sales and living the dream. It's great because we're all our own bosses and set our own hours. I sold everything I had, but it was so worth it. I'm really close to reaching diamond level. What's diamond level? I don't know, but it's diamond. It has to be important. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later, girl. Come back soon. So did we get a voucher? What's this? Mystery mystery gift voucher? We... It's a gift voucher for something from Carl's shop. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go back. Go back to our ship. Let me go back to uh, Cape Codnapper. And see if we can uh, redeem this voucher. Alright, cow, take a look at this. What is this voucher for? Oh, there's a ticket for a free item from my box of wonders. Take anything you want from the box down front. Oh, nice. Let's see what's in here. Hmm, it looks like this piece of sandpaper. Only useful thing here. Enjoy your item! And don't forget to shop with cow. Alright, so we got some sandpaper. My free gift from having joining a, joined the cult. A piece of sandpaper. Alright, I'll take what I can get. This might be useful later. Uh, let's check out the uh, island to the right here. Oh, it's Adventurer's Guild. Alright, cool. There's a dodo planter. Not sure what this bird did to deserve being a planter. I'm sure it must be. He must have deserved it. Poor dodo. Meow, meow. It's a really hungry griffin. Meow, meow, meow. I guess Hevel is making do with this for now. Until he manages to actually kill one. Picture of kittens. Painting of two kittens. A powerful meow. image. With strong chaotic energy. That's a very chaotic. Uh, what else we got here? We have a mounted lion. Meow, meow. A lion. Meow. Or was a lion at least. He looks incredibly pleased with himself. Meow, meow, meow. He is very handsome. And there's a stuffed squid. Mounted squid. Not even a terrifying giant meow. squid. Just a regular squid. Stuck to a piece of wood. <laughs> it's just a deer with a... I don't know why it looks so funny. The deer. It's making me feel all festive. And me too. <laughs> the mouse picture? Oh, ugh! The mouse! Ugh, too scary. Uh, some beetles and a weasel. Stuffed weasel. Poor little guy. Stone Meow. tablet. It's a stone tablet with a funny cat story carved into it. Okay. I think we've checked out. There's a shark as well in the ceiling. And a bear. Polar bear on the floor. It's the head of the polar bear rug. It's pretty dead. I, mean, I really don't like this kind of shops, though, to be honest, in the real uh, world. All these fucking mounted animals, just disgust. Ah, uh, there's a button here, I'm not Let me. Let's not press that yet. Oh, you have me, me, me. nice office. I like the decoration. <laughs> oh, cheers. Glad you appreciate my fine taste. I am super rich. I also like nature. Me, me, me. So much you want to kill everything? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like that thing where something just so cute you can't handle it and just so dang passionate about nature you can't control yourself though please just as well i'm already dead i'm criminally <laughs> criminally cute it's like little fluffy baby animals and stuff i just want to hug them so hard ah they hurt me are you saying cows not cute nah nah it's not that Ew. uh was what I heard. I'm pretty hurt now. Why won't you say you'd hug me dead? I think you were cute, Scar. I kill you. See? These are real friends. Fine. Fine. I'd kill you. Are you happy now? 
Very. <laughs> okay, some weird people. Uh, so you like animals then? <laughs> Can't get enough of them. I feel like covering every inch of space with them. Dead though, when they were alive they tended to just run riot. There was a flamingo. They just seem to behave so much better when they're dead. Understandable. Not really understandable. I condone all killing of animals. Uh, where do you find all these animals? Hunted them down. All over the place, really. I've got my fine... I've got my fine seafaring vessel. <laughs> I take it and briefly explore, explore new lands. Was that the little pedal-powered swan boat outside? <laughs> yeah, she's a real... <laughs> she's real rea uh, reliable. Yep. Stunning. Yeah, I had to keep drawing up a map. I'd hate to lose it. Uh, where is this map now? It should be somewhere in the gill hole here. I always try and keep it nearby. <laughs> I'm super proud of it. I have a thing for just displaying everything. Gotta display my passions proudly. Alright, talk to you later. See you around. Okay, so can we get that map? Uh, press that button. How oh, cute. The little exec executive desk cannon. What? Uh, the perfect pirate themed office toy. Got a little wick on it to activate it. Just needs a flame. Huh. I have a torch though. Okay, let me... Uh... Let's go back then. Let's go back to the... Uh... Uh, what's it called? Sea shrine? And there was a fire going inside the shrine here. I'm just going to use my torch on it to see if we can grab that fire. Nice and toasty. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Shall we fire the cannon then? Why not? See what happened. Oh no, the rain put out the fire. I think I might need some help staying lit. Oh. Okay. So we kind of need something else. I can't just cover the uh, torch with the sandpaper. So let's uh, see. What's this island here? Windsock. Or the wind's feet. <laughs> I reckon that's how it works anyways. Uh, <laughs> okay. It says... Goblin Isle, Isle Nature Reserve Conservation Trust. Uh, there's posters on here too. A lizard, sort of. Lumi orchid. Uh, kakapoo. As a little notice about the kakapoo. Feathery avocado-like parrots, which loves to dance. Incredibly shy and difficult to spot. Is this the same one? Someone who wrote this really likes kakapoo. They seem pretty angry they don't win bird of the year every year. He veers off at the end with a huge rant. Yeah. The Goblin Isle Lumi Orchid. This rare orchid only can be found on Goblin Isle. Requires full sun to bloom, it flowers its flowers emit a beautiful ultraviolet light. Sounds pretty. It's an article about a really daft looking lizard. Oh I mean not a lizard. It's got a nice smile. Or so it's not a lizard? It's a sort of lizard? <laughs> okay. Alright, bulletin boards checked out. Let's go deeper into this island. Yep. It's the sad looking Lumi orchids. It's growing in a really shady spot here. We might have to move it around. Alright. Who are these guys? Goblin Island. Island. Ooh, goblins. Uh, wait, what? Why are there goblins there? Uh, after we got told to behave and stick to the theme, I lost all the pirate pieces, but I had some goblins left over. I can make them fit in. Ugh, that's so unfair. I can make dinosaurs fit in. Nope. <laughs> Alright. As a parrot, it looks angry though. Ugh, he almost got me. It's a really angry parrot. 
Our baby. Hey, that's our boy. We love you so much. So proud. Right, there's some scissors here on the floor as well. Nope. Our scissors. Keep your nasty hands off. They're just laying on the ground. So, that's where we keep them. We know exactly where they are. <laughs> okay. There's a cooking pot here. A large cooking pot full of something. It's over some kindling and wood bites and lit. Hmm, we might have to lit this as well. Hey there. Hey, Stinky. <laughs> stinky. Uh, what are you doing? Top secret goblin stuff. Making a mean soup. Hey, it's meant to be a secret. Goblin knowledge only. I put a potato in it. <laughs> what else is in the soup? Well, potato. It's got potato in it for sure. We've been working on it for a week. It's a bit hard to remember everything. If we like how it tastes, in it goes. I put a lot of sugar in it. Oh yeah, we love sugar. We just need to heat it up now. The only problem we are having is lighting the fire. Don't like the cold soup. Getting so hungry. Wasting away by the second. Uh, if I light the fire, could I have the scissors? Oh, we would give you a mighty treasure. Close to our hearts. Yep, yep, yep. So shiny. So mighty. Our floor scissors. <laughs> Uh, okay. What's with the parrot? He flew into a tree. He's got a mean goblin streak. We love him. You adopted the parrot? He's speaking up He's speaking up our goblin way so easily. Also, you'll be able to fly. Our little terror from above. He bites really hard. It made, it made him really tricky to, eat, <laughs> to, to try eat. We did try that at first. But now we love him. Our horrible son. Bestest boy. Uh, can I take the power with me? He might do our feathery demon child <laughs> good to see the world. Teach him to dream big and bite so many things. Take good care of him. I promise. You better. Go fetch him. He'll tell you to behave. Oh, we'll tell him to behave. Okay. Alright, see so you both later. We'll smell you first. <laughs> So we can grab the parrot just like that. Ow, it bit me. Oi, behave, feather beast. Do goblins proud. Come on, we have an adventure to attend to. Alright, so I got myself a parrot. I'm not sure. Uh, what I can do with a parrot. Can I combine stuff? I don't want to send this. Oh, okay. I can combine stuff. Uh, I don't know how our power will improve this. Okay, we uh, sandpaper this uh, orchid. I really don't want to. Okay. We have a windsock here. Hmm. Okay, so we explored everything and all the islands. Uh. Hmm, not sure. Uh, maybe if we, uh, we show the parrot to our friend, maybe he'll give us something. Me, me, me. What do you think? A wonderful specimen. I don't think I like that look in your eye. Okay, better not. Uh, yeah, better not. Uh, what can we sandpaper here? Uh, some arrows, a banner. I'm not really sure what to. Uh... Let me check if he has anything. Bear's tail. The fluffy polar polar bear tail. Polar bear tail. Uh, what was the map? <laughs> okay, talk to you next. So where's we gotta find this map? Oh, this must be a stone tablet. A stone tablet with a funny cat story carved into it. Okay, maybe not. Oh, maybe this is the uh, map here. It looks like it's torn. Me, me, me. This tatty looking picture looks like it ha looks like it has something behind it. Me. Oh, there's something back here. Me. I'm doing. I'm sure I'm doing a hebel a favor. The map. 
That's much best. Kittens, kittens make me uneasy. All that youth. Isn't he a cat himself? Anyway. It's a really hard looking map. There's only a few islands on it. I should talk to Hebel about it. Alright. Hey, Hebel. Uh, I found the map. Oh, sweet. What did you think? I knew it was around here somewhere. There's only a few islands on it, though. It seems a bit empty. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really important. I drew on the other islands on... in... <laughs> ultraviolet ink. I can't have pirates stealing all my info. But Hubble... Hebble. I am a pirate. Ah, sure you are. You need, like, a hook for a hand or something. Is the eye patch not good enough? We both know your eye works fine. How can I view the whole map? You'll need an ultraviolet light. If you shine the light over the map, the other islands should appear. It's super cool spy level stuff. Aren't I smart? The smartest. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we uh, the, we can use the plants to uh, shine the lights on this map. But uh, before we do that, I'm gonna take a quick break here and uh, thank you guys for uh, watching it so far. Thank you so much for the support you've been giving me, giving me with all the other Let's Plays. I know it's been uh, kind of quiet these days. Uh, June, not a great uh, month for indie uh, releases. But we got uh, this jewel here and a couple of other games coming out soon. And I'm looking forward to those as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. So you can watch more content like this. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.